I'm Michelle Poehler and I decided to face 100 fears in 100 days because I realized that living inside of a comfort zone is just not worth it. There's a world of opportunities if only we ask ourselves the question, what's the best that could happen? Every time we face a fear, we're opening a door to the unknown. And the unknown can be pretty scary, but it could also be mind-blowing. This decision not only marked the beginning of my speaking career, but it showed me the importance of going after the things that feel right in our hearts. Michelle was incredibly passionate when she came on the stage. What a powerful speaker. She's really authentic, and I think it's a fresh message. If you want someone to come and actually inspire your students and make them feel like someone's talking to them on their level, call Michelle. Michelle was very inspiring and absolutely hilarious. Things that are uncomfortable to me may be things that you can easily do, like eating an oyster. <sighs> <sighs> Saying yes allowed me to expand my comfort zone to new frontiers. Things that I wouldn't dare to try a year ago became my favorite food. She was absolutely inspiring, not just for me, but I couldn't help but think about my students and how much anxiety and stress my kids have. She gets people engaged. She's a great storyteller. She definitely has inspired me to just go about my day and just not be afraid and, you know, like, what have you got to lose is what she said and I think that's really my new motto. Courage actually helps us to become better people, but we have to take that first step and she definitely inspired me to take steps that I hadn't even thought of um, in a very, very long time. But after embracing this new lifestyle where daring is my first choice, I learned that the only time that I fail is the time that I fail to try. The more uncomfortable we get, the greater the reward. I realized that facing fears was contagious and that my actions were inspiring others to face their own fears. What started as a personal development project turned into my purpose, a social mission to encourage others to say hello to their fears. We're now creating a movement to make the world a braver place. I wish that I had heard her speak when I was 12 to 16 years old because maybe I would have been less afraid of doing things. They had her come and speak on the very first day and that just set the tone for the entire year for their school to the point where girls were still talking about it. At the end of the year, they were still referencing her talk. It was clear that, that she had changed their perspective and the way that they had lived their lives that year. So after speaking at schools, I realized the impact that I could have if I focus all of my time, energy, and even all of my content to speak to the younger generation. Am I afraid of failing? You bet I am. But I am 100% more terrified of not even trying at all. Now, instead of perceiving every fear as an obstacle, I choose to see it as an opportunity. An opportunity that can lead us to uncover our next big thing. And that is the best that could happen.